What's up, five families, here on fire, and welcome back to Kenan Next House. Today, I'm going to be answering a question that I have received a lot in the comments, and that is about what you get in the lay shrines. So, how to get things that you got on the previous map, such as, you know, how you got your purges and your purge frills in there. You got Dogs of the Desert ones, Sumerian ones, Veneer ones, Northern ones, all of those kind of favorite frills you had before. I'm going to be showing you a way you can get something similar or something uh, very the same actually. Before we do that though, I need to get something very clear with you. There are actually five levels, or you might have heard of them being tiers, in this thing. So there's five different ingredients you can put into the Lay Shrine to get five very different results. And in those five, you can get another lot of different results depending on what altar you choose. So I'm gonna get out the basics first. We have level one, which is a low tier lie shrine. And that is if you put zero of the question mark stuff in, which is going to equate to zero swelling chaos, which I will be referring to as SC. If you do a level two one, which is a medium tier, it's gonna be 200 swelling chaos, which equals to four greater question mark or 100 unstable question mark or 200 lesser question mark. If you want to do a level 3, so the high tier, you need 400 SC, which is going to equate to 8 greater question mark, 200 unstable question mark, or 400 lesser question mark. Now we go to level 4, a powerful surge, which is going to cost a thousand swelling chaos to actually be a thing. This is equaling to 20 greater question mark, 500 unstable question mark, or a thousand lesser question mark and then we have the final one level five a calamity chance i say chance because a lot of people i've seen this get absolutely completely wrong in their videos it is a thousand plus swelling chaos but it's not guaranteed to be a calamity if it is over a thousand okay it's a chance so let me just get that right and clear to you if it's red on the dial that means it's a powerful one and then you have the chance for a calamity chance okay not 100 percent so please bear that in mind i've seen so many people get that wrong so yeah and we'll explain what you see in a calamity actually so you won't get it wrong <laughs> well ideally you want a powerful surge because that's that's the best of the best the nicest stuff you can get kind of thing let me quickly get this out the way as well to make you understand this too greater question mark equals 50 swelling chaos lesser equals one swelling chaos so it's one for one unstable equals two so that means you know you have to multiply it by the amount to get the amount you want for the chaos so that's why i've given you the previous values on how much you should put in to get said product out of it you know but for time's sake and to save me spawning in like a bajillion of these different things i'm just going to use the greater because that's the easiest to measure off I'm going to start with the focus altar at the center where we're going to do a T1. So a T1 will look exactly like this. You do this, you don't actually put nothing in it and you just crank the lever. And that is your tier one or level one lowest tier. So with this one, you can get up to tier three in combat people. So you can get some tier three fighters or archers or bearers. So you can receive that from this kind of purge, but you can only get up to a tier one crafter on a no swirling chaos shrine the tier one so you can get some nice perhaps dancers but the crafters are going to be hella low and it's going to suck that way now we have our level two so we're going to do the same one the center craft that that's going to give us jebel sag followers so if i want the one out of this one i'm going to have to split my amount into four so this might take there we go we've got four greater this will give me a nice medium tier and they give me 200 swirling chaos there we go now i can crank the lever and a good indicator as well is seeing this loading bar go around that's how you know you've gotten to the next level so here we've gotten to you can see two bars so that's level two so here we go you can see we've got some creatures coming out some normal people coming out as well and you can also get some babies in this one as well so keep an eye out for that but pretty much this is going to give you combat up to tier three and it's also going to give you T2 crafters. And now we get to our level 3. So same thing. You're going to make the same altar. Make that, craft that. 
And this time we're going to need to put eight of these graters in. So we're going to have to split it up to eight. So if I can get a single one out of that, that would be lovely. There we go. Seven, eight. Pop that in. That should make us 400 swelling chaos. So SC. And there we go. 400 in the bag. Now we're going to crank the lever. Now this one's quite nice because you can get T3 combat out of this one. So fighters, bearers, archers. And you can also get T3 crafters out of this one too. And then we come to one of our last tiers, the level 4. Craft the same altar. We're going to get something different out of this one. This is the one you kind of want to aim for. Now we're actually going to need a full stack of 20 for this one at the graders. Because we want to get all the way to a thousand swelling chaos. Just to make this clear, this is 20 bosses in the storm. Just to get that absolutely crystal clear to you. So it can be a bit rough. But yeah, that's the kind of process you need to go through. Now, I just wanted to show you this bit because I want to get it absolutely crystal clear to you that this does not mean calamity because it actually bothers me. <laughs> Alright, so you should see it all go like this and it will go red. Just because it goes this colour does not mean you have a calamity, I repeat. Just because it's red does not mean it's a calamity. <laughs> it means it could have a chance to be a calamity. But if you have a thousand, it will most likely be a powerful one because having a thousand in there and being a calamity is an extremely rare occurrence. Most powerful surge, level four. So let's have a look what we get. We should get Children of Jebel Sag out of this one. So let's watch them drop down. And you can see you're going to get quite a few ruffians out of this one as well. So you've got quite a few of these going out here. Some nice archers as well. Uh, you'll get a lot of high tier stuff in this one, so it's very nice to have, actually. You can already see we have a named bearer there already, a named dancer already as well. Now, these guys can come out as combat T4s or crafter T4s, so this is why I say this is the one you want to do. So, Vant Uncloak, you see this? He has no weapon. He's hitting me with fists, right? This is why this is a good, powerful one to do at the moment, because... It will be very easy for someone that is solo. Since all of these guys just punch. They don't have no weapons. They're actually broken. So yeah, it's a really good one to do. But again, the ones that you want. So the crafters or the fighters will have the weapons. So just be careful with that. All right. So let me try and do a calamity. Now these aren't really easy to spawn at all. Since they're percentage based. The idea was when Funcom put these in. Is to desensitize you for doing this to not do a calamity so it's supposed to be like a way to put you off putting loads and loads of this in to get the calamity if you get what i mean so aka the more of this i put in the bigger the chance i get to get a calamity so it's going to take you know in you anything over a thousand you could do a thousand and one a thousand and twenty a thousand and a hundred and your chance will keep going up for a calamity but to be honest it's not worth doing a calamity let me just tell you that right now okay so i've put absolutely butt loads in let's hope we get a calamity out of this one hopefully it should give that to us with the stinky amount of stuff we've put in this one so let's stand back get this to crank one out for us fingers crossed people because it could still give us a powerful surge and not a calamity with that amount surprisingly like I said, it's chance-based. It's not 100% the amount you get is what you're going to get out of it, if you get me. Ah, I think we got it, though. Hang on. I think we do. All right, yes, we have the Calamity. Here's the Calamity. So, this is a Altar of the Center Calamity. What this will give you is whites and gorillas. That's what it gives you. So, it's going to give you horrible things, like really hard bosses... Or things that perhaps are really difficult to kill. That's what it's going to give you. And that's why you don't want calamities. Because it's going to give you things that perhaps you don't really want. Like, would you ever want this many gorillas for that amount of cost? No, you would not. You would actually be very pissed off if you had to farm out 20 bosses or more. And then get a thing like this. <laughs> more monkeys. Do you want some more monkeys for your monkeys? Sure, you do. There you go. Have some more. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to see, even this is just like your standard boss. It's going to give you a skeleton key. It's not going to give you anything 
wonderful so it's it's really not worth it it, it it's, it's not worth it okay so now we got that all out of the water and completely explained i'm going to show you all of the rest of the altars and what they give you and remember the same applies so the level one two three four and five all apply to these as well in what you're going to get so what we talked about t1 to t3 crafters to t4 crafters and fighters is exactly the same throughout these levels Okay, we're going to start with our first. Here we have the T1. So you can get some special cooking eggs, Jaguar Cubs, Flawless Medium and Light Armor here, as well as Relic Hunter Armor, so cheap armor. As a Tier 2, the only additional thing this drops is Buccaneer Armor that I've seen. And then the Tier 3 can give you a chance to give those previous recipes, Tiger Cubs and Epic Zing around Freebooter Armor. And then you move on to your Tier 4, which you can get the previous and you can get a chance to get some Epic Lemurian Armor and Weapons. And yeah, that's pretty good that way, and some legendary weapons as well. And if you harvest the fishmen, some scales have gone as well. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and that carries over for the calamity, of course, as well. With those fish scales, if you just wanted a bunch of those. Well, there is tons and tons of fishmen, you can get that off. Now, the Northern Lake Shrines are really good at dropping special cooking recipes. Three and five is two I've seen, and some other ones. And Veneer Settler Armor for the first one, and Boyle. You can get from this one as well when you go up to the t2 you get a chance to get a bear cub the same things come from the previous when you go up to the tier 3 you can get a chance to get epic sumerian armor and wolf cubs and when you get up to the finale so the tier 4 you can get a chance to get frost smithing which is really really good those previous cooking recipes and even more of those cooking recipes actually there's obviously tons and a chance to also get a saber kitten which is nice as well and then of course for your calamity you get some white sinking scourge so there you go nothing too special there Now moving on to the northeast this is a lot of black hand kind of thing so you got your black hand banners and tents you can get you can also get specialist cooking free from this one as well and specialist cooking seven i've seen and some fawn spawns when you go up to the tier two it's the same kind of thing uh but you can get hyena whelps from this one too then you go up to the tier three where you can get some epic samorian thief armor dropping as well which is pretty nice and some shale backs and then as the Tier 4 one, so your very special one with all the goodies in it. You can actually get some legendaries dropping in this one. You can also get some epic flawless Aquilonian armor as well. And you get the previous kind of uh, recipes that it drops and the crocodile hatchling as well you can get from this one. So some nice bits and bobs throughout this one as well. And then you move on to your calamity, which of course is the, well, you know, lizard men. So you can probably get some serpent men um, blueprints all that good stuff in this one as well just those normal things uh not too special on the calamity honestly then we go to the south where we have our cannibals so you get a chance to get ostrich chicks and safari skin armor safari banners and weapons and a skull taker uh, scroll then we have man hunters so this is your tier two you get the same really kind of thing so it's not really worth doing the uh, t2 of this one then you go up to the tier 3 where you got a chance to get some Lemurian weapons through this one, epic Defari armor, and some specialist cooking, 1 and 6, and some Defari weapons. And then for the final really good one, so your powerful surge, you got a chance to get some flawless epic Defari armor, some flawless obsidian weapons, and some special tools, epic yogurt chosen mask as well. And then your Witch Doctor scroll, I've also seen from one of these as well. Which could be worth picking up if you do want some, let's say, well, uh, you know, undead pets. Because that's going to allow you to do that. And then all the previous as well from this one, including Defari Banners. Moving on to our final lot, we get some camel calves that can actually drop out of this one and some relic hunter armor that also could drop as well as the scroll to learn to make that as well and banners and specialist cooking too I have also seen come out of this one. Then on the next one you get a chance to get scorpion egg sacks I've also seen and some exceptional stygian armor as well that can also come out I've seen. 
And then for the third one, it's a bit weird. You can get quite a lot of, uh, well, big snakes coming out of this one. So, of course, you can uh, harvest some skeleton keys and demon blood from the actual boss. And then there's a chance to get all the previous stuff out of that one too. And rhino calves, actually. And then on the finale, so the powerful one, you can get elephant calves. You can get all the previous and uh, some legendaries. Some epic silent legion armor as well. And some Stygian soldier armor too. And then you get some bats and skeletons for your calamity. Apart from that, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.